With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is two ships that is V and W move with constant velocities 2 meter per second and 4 meter per second along two mutually perpendicular straight tracks towards the intersection point O at the moment t equals to 0 the ship V and W were located at the distance 100 meter and 200 meter respectively from the point O so we have to find out the distance between them will be shortest at time t so the situation is that there are two ships that is V and W and they both are on a straight track perpendicular to each other suppose this is the track of W and this is the track of V and this is the intersection point that is O okay V is moving towards O with the velocity of 2 meter per second this is V and it is moving with 2 meter per second and this is W which is also moving towards O this is W with the speed of 4 meter per second now the distance suppose at this time V is at this point and W is this point at t equals to 0 the distance of v from o is given as 100 meter and distance of w is given as 200 meter okay now we have to calculate the shortest distance now this distance is suppose this distance is the shortest distance between them and suppose this distance is l so basically we have to calculate this l distance minimum l so we have to apply the minima condition we have to calculate this l at t equals to t at time t so we assume at time at t the v is somewhere at this point and w is somewhere at this point okay that means this distance traveled by v is uh, distance is given by velocity into time so time is t velocity is 2 so it is 2 into t that is 2t that means now this distance will be 100 minus 100 minus 2t and similarly for w this distance will be 200 minus 4t because its velocity is 4 so 4 into t this is for v and for w it will be 4 into t that is 4t and they are moving in the direction of this so we subtract 100 minus 2t and this is 200 minus 4t now we have to calculate this L. Now this L is given by at this point. Now this L is the square of this and the square of this. So I can write from Pythagoras theorem. I can write L. The value of L can be written as the value of L. So I can write L equals to root of L equals to root of first distance that is 100 minus 2t square. And second is 200 minus 4t square. Okay. Now we have to calculate this minimum. That means we have to apply the minima condition that is dl upon dt equals to 0. So first we have to calculate the value of dl upon dt. So dl upon dt can be written as dl upon dt that is equals to d upon dt. And value of L is I can write it as 100 minus 2t square plus 200 minus 40 square power half because root means power half so power half now I can also write this now open these brackets I can write dl upon dt that is equals to d upon dt and open the bracket I can write this is a square of 100 0 0 0 0 minus 400 t plus 40 square this is the bracket of this okay now opening this bracket i can write plus 4 0 0 0 0 minus 1600 t plus 16 t square now I open both bracket and power half now i have to differentiate this equation so now i can write dl upon dt that is coming out to be dl upon dt that is equal to power half is and now I can sub, uh, uh, I can write 20 t square sorry just a minute I will 
uh, rearrange this these uh, options okay first uh, we have to rearrange this so i can write d upon dt this is 1000 this is 4000 so i can write it as 20 t square because 40 square plus 16 square uh, 20 t square minus 1600 t and 400 t this is 2000 t plus 10,000 and sorry uh, 10,000 and 40,000 that is 50,000 okay 50,000 power half now differentiate this we will get dl upon dt that is coming out to be power and in bracket it is 20 t square minus 2000 t plus 5000 50000 power minus half into in bracket it is 40 t minus 2000 now i am going to apply the minima condition according to minima condition dl upon dt will be zero so i can write dl upon dt equals to zero for minima because we have to calculate the minimum value of l so dl upon dt equals to zero when i put dl upon dt equals to zero that means this half will be zero going this side half will be zero so i can write 20 i can write 40 t minus 2000 upon 20 t square minus 2000 t plus 50 thousand and power is minus half minus half that is equals to zero now this term will be also zero so i can write 40 t minus 40 t minus 2000 equals to zero so from here t is coming out to be 2000 upon 40 so this will be 50 seconds so this is the time when the distance between v and w will be minimum and that time will be 50 seconds okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today